Episode 2 begins with Dwight still in the Mayo Hotel. He is on his new laptop and is attempting to find the location of his lost daughter. After inputting the information the website asks for a small fee. He doesn't have a card and gets frustrated. He then goes to the local coffee shop. His order is ready and as he walks he asks the waiter for a glass cup. She says we do not do that anymore. He gets irritated and annoyed at how the world changed so fast. Elsewhere, the FBI agent Stacy is calling her friend in the office to ask about information regarding Dwight. Her friend asks why she wants the information to which she responds with work-related activities. Her friend laughs as she knows there is more to the story than that. After Dwight has his coffee, he roams around the streets of Tulsa and sees a kid playing with his mother. He feels jealousy as he wished he could have a connection like that. He keeps walking and a lady screams from behind him saying that the circle he is on is the center of the universe. He stands in the middle and to his surprise he sees a horse walking on the street. He feels as if he is seeing things and he then walks up to the woman. He offers her some money, she looks at him in disgust and walks off. Elsewhere, we see that Stacy is sitting with her psychologist. She is speaking to him about how her current husband is dating another girl. She also illustrates how she saw someone. He looks in surprise and asks about the guy to which she responds with, very old. We also know that she is currently in the middle of a divorce with her current husband and is merely staying with him for futile reasons. We then go back to New York. Vincent is not happy as he cannot speak properly from Dwight hitting him so hard. He asks Chicky that he be able to hurt Dwight back. Chicky says that it's father's friend and he cannot do that. He says he will arrange for something to be done. Vincent then storms out of the laundering store in rage. Dwight sees his driver for the first time this episode and asks Tyson a question. He asks that he needs a card to which Tyson says to him, let's go to the bank. Dwight wants to pick up some cash prior and walks into the marijuana store. He walks Bodie into the office and simply makes him open the safe. He takes his 20% cut out and leaves. Upon entering the bank he has stacks of money on the counter. He hands the banker his license in which he begins to laugh. The license is 20 years out of date and is handed back to him. He says he needs one that is up to date to open an account. Tyson and Dwight then make a plan for him to go and renew his license. Meanwhile, the man from the previous episode that panicked inside the mall is seen in a ranch. He receives a phone call from a friend. He listens to the person saying to him that Dwight has been released from prison, that he is also staying in Tulsa. The man also tells him that he would be living in the most expensive hotel in that area, which they conclude is the Mayo Hotel. Dwight has to do a test to renew his license. He does not know the answers and so grabs the man sitting next to him and copies his answers. He passes. And in doing so they go to take his photo. To our humorous surprise he turns his head as though he is taking a mugshot. The cameraman is surprised and tells him what are you doing. He goes to the desk to get his license but is then told that he has to do a driving test. The lady says there is a five week wait. He pulls out some cash and she says there is a free booking next week. Dwight goes back to the bank and gives the man his paper certifying his identity. The banker fixes his account and gets up to shake hands with Dwight. They walk out of the bank, and Dwight receives a phone call from Chicky. Chicky tells Dwight that amends have to be made. Dwight is confused and Chicky clarifies saying that he broke Vincent's jaw and that a $100,000 compensation will suffice. Dwight pretty much says that he is gonna send a bomb instead. Back in the hotel room Dwight was catching up on some reading when a knock on his door is heard. He goes up to the door and Stacy was there waiting for him. He is surprised that she came back to his hotel and asks what she is doing here. Dwight walks her into his room. She does not hesitate in the slightest way and tells Dwight that she is a FBI agent. He looks in surprise and feels set up. She tells him that she will not, and cannot help him if he does anything criminal related. He understands and tells her that he is merely having a holiday in Tulsa. And to that she turns around and walks out of the hotel. Back at home, Tyson is cleaning the navigator. His dad walks out and looks at his son. He tells him that he should be in college. Tyson says that he is working for a businessman and he could learn a lot from the man. His dad disagrees and gets into his car. Later on the navigator is driving on a highway. Tyson, Dwight and Bodie are all present in the car. They are making their way to the weed farmer so Dwight can have a chat with him. They arrive at the farm. They all get out of the car and look at the astonishing view. There were anchors of land of weed. They are greeted by the cousin of the owner. The man is not friendly and is not happy with uninvited guests on the land. His name, or nickname for that matter, is Badface. But Dwight likes to call him Fuckface instead. Dwight gets into his face. The man eyes Dwight and they are about to start fighting with one another. The owner runs out of the house screaming telling them to stop. He tells them both to relax and to come inside. After everyone gets seated, the owner of the house walks in and offers them some THC-infused lollies. 
He introduces himself to the group as Jimmy. Dwight declines the lollies and says he negotiates with a clear head. Jimmy replies with, "There will be no negotiations." Dwight says that he will buy in bulk and the deal he has in mind is 1200 for first 10 units bought, 1100 for next 10, and 1000 for next 10. The remaining 270 out of 300 units will be $750. Jimmy tells him he drives a hard bargain and they get up and shake hands on a done deal. Jimmy then tells Dwight that the syrup he is eating is highly infused with THC. He stops eating and looks up. He begins laughing as he realizes he is stoned. On the car ride home he is smoking and is 100% stoned. He starts acting like a toddler and a noise body. Elsewhere the unknown man that wants to find Dwight picks up his phone. He calls the Mayo Hotel and asks for the room number of his friend Dwight. The man says okay and goes to phone Dwight's room to which the man says it's all good don't worry about it and ends the call. Back in the hotel, Dwight receives a mail that contains his debit card. He inputs the information online and accesses the information on his daughter. He looks at the number and with fear picks up his phone. He puts the number in and calls it. A man picks up saying his name is Emery. Dwight then tells the man he would like to speak to his daughter. The man was starstruck and tells his wife that her father is on the phone. She does not want to speak with him. Dwight says he just wants to hear her voice. She talks and says, "There, you heard my voice," and ends the call. He is gutted inside and goes for a walk. As he is walking, he sees the supposed center of the universe. He stands in the middle of it and is in tears. He says one of the saddest quotes. I stopped seeing her because it was too hard on her. No. I stopped seeing her because it was too hard on me. If you enjoy content like this, give me a like and subscribe. Good day. Until we meet again.